Hello, this is Chaudhary Mahmood Anwar. Today I am going to explain how to conduct meta-analysis by using softwares like uh, Metcalf or StatsDirect. Meta-analysis is a very effective technique to analyze uh, the results of uh, multiple studies and to conclude those studies by estimating an overall effect of interest. Meta-analysis integrates the quantitative findings from separate but similar studies and provides a numerical estimate of the overall effect of interest. There are two methods available for meta-analysis. Number one is Hedges and Alkin 1985, and number two is Schmidt and Hunter 1990. Both methods have uh, pros and cons. Okay, here is the detail for first method, hedges alkin method. It is based on the conventional summary meta-analysis with official Z, transformation of the correlation coefficient. It overestimates the pooled effect when the correlation is greater than 0.5. It reduces the risk of type 1 error only when the studies are homogeneous not suitable for either a small number of studies or less than 30 or a heterogeneous set of studies. The second method is Schmidt-Hunter method. It calculates the weighted mean of the raw correlation coefficient. It underestimates the pool defect when the correlation is greater than 0.5. The risk of type 1 error is more as compared with hedges alkan method. It provides a least biased estimate of the true population correlation. It is not suitable for either a small number of studies less than 30 or a heterogeneous set of studies. The heterogeneity in meta-analysis is assessed by coherence Q. Q is the weighted sum of squares on the standardized scale. It is reported with a p-value, with lower p-values indicating presence of heterogeneity. I square is the percentage of observed total variation across studies that is due to real heterogeneity. I square is calculated as the coherence Q minus degree of freedom divided by coherence Q into 100%. This gives the value of um, I square through which we can assess uh, the observed total variation across studies uh, due to real heterogeneity. So this is an example of a uh, test of heterogeneity. You can see the Q value, the degree of freedom, so its significance level, I square, which is inconsistency test, and uh, confidence intervals for I square. The next test is uh, publication bias test. There are two tests used to detect possible publication bias in meta analysis Eggers test and uh, Beck's rank test. Eggers test. It tests y intercept is equal to zero from a linear regression of normalized effect size against precision. Bax rank test assesses if uh, there is a significant correlation between the ranks of the standardized effect size and the ranks of their variances. If two-tailed p-value is low, it is an indication of uh, publication bias. Here you can see an example of uh, the Publication bias, so Eggers test, uh, intercept, its confidence interval and significance level, and Beck's test, its candles tau and the significance level. Uh, now I will demonstrate uh, how to conduct this meta analysis um, in MATCALC software. You can also apply the same procedures if you are using direct stat software, but I will only use the MATCALC software to conduct the meta-analysis uh, because the procedure is quite similar, so I don't want to waste the time. For this study, we will use Hatches and Alkins method because this method reduces the risk of type 1 error. So I will include uh, some studies into uh, my meta-analysis example. And those studies uh, reports, for instance, correlation values uh, for job autonomy and innovative esteem. So we will conduct the meta-analysis for the correlation between these two variables. This is the basic interface of MATCALC software. Uh, this is uh, the analysis section.
and this is the data and variable section click on data it will give you a spreadsheet and uh, on this spreadsheet i will load the variables i will simply enter the variables i have entered the five studies and the correlation values and sample size this is anwar 2017 Mahmoud 2016, Zhang 2018, Chen 2013, and Peter 2010, all reporting the correlation coefficient values for job autonomy and uh, innovative esteem. These are the correlation values reported in these all studies. And these are the sample size reported in these five studies. Here you can see the menu of uh, the software. Various options are available. You will click on statistics and meta analysis and click on correlation. Now select the studies is the study. Number of cases is N. And correlation coefficient from your data file is R. And there are no filters available in this case. Uh, click on forest plot marker size relative to study weight fixed effects and plot the pool effects for fixed and random effect model and if you want to analyze the publication bias then you can click on funnel plot uh, we are not using it click on ok this is the result of the meta analysis this is uh, the data spreadsheet and uh, this is the forest plot and these are the main results of meta analysis correlation the study sample size and their correlation values and the 95 percent confidence interval values are given these are the z scores so with their p values for total effects and random effects and are significant 10.001 these are the fixed and random weights for every study calculated please note that uh, you must get uh, the significant z scores for fixed effects and random effects the fixed effect model assumes uh, that the studies share a common true effect and the summary effect is an estimate of the common effect size whereas the random effects model the true effects in the studies are assumed to vary between studies and the summary effect is the weighted average of the effects reported in the different studies the random effects model will tend to give a more conservative estimate with the wider confidence intervals but the results from the two models are usually agree when there is no heterogeneity when heterogeneity is present in the model the random effects model should be the preferred model these are the results of uh, heterogeneity uh, the q value degrees of freedom uh, significance level must be lower the i square is uh, the percentage of inconsistency and its confidence interval at 95 percent is given this is the publication bias, this is the Agurus test, intercept, it's the confidence interval and significance level. And Bax test, um, candle style and its significance level. I have already told you that for both Akers and Bax test, the two-sided p-value should be lower to indicate the publication bias. i square is uh, the percentage that reflects total variation across studies that is due to real heterogeneity rather than chance if you want to uh, plot your meta analysis results um, the forest plot is used forest plot uh, actually depicts your meta analysis result it's um, fixed effects and random effects and uh, and the correlation coefficients for your each study with the 95 percent confidence interval well this is how we conduct the meta analysis um, i believe it's really easy you can use uh, the MedCalc software or the StatDirect software. 
very similar procedure in in Stack Direct software. That software provides the same uh, statistics, the same the Q, the I square, Edgar's test, and Bax test. It's over from my side. I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you very much for attending this session.